What's going on fragrance family? This is Tyler with Simply Fragrances and today I'm bringing you five fragrances that I think are perfectly good for a blind buy. So if you want to see what these fragrances are, be sure to keep it right here. All right, guys, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Tyler. This is my channel, Simply Fragrances, where we talk everything fragrance related. We're doing top 10 videos. We're doing fragrance reviews. We're doing seasonal videos, interviews, weekly rotations, everything that encompasses fragrances. So if that sounds like something that you want to be a part of, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love and support you have shown this channel. Guys, we are at like 960 something, guys. We are well on our way to that goal of a thousand. So thank you so much for the love and support you have shown us so i do have i guess kind of a bit of a cold or something so i do apologize for my voice if it sounds a little nasally but uh got a cool different uh video for you so as you can tell from the title it's going to be five fragrances that i think are blind by worthy now what inspired this is i've been talking with uh some different people excuse me, and even some of my friends, they're really just now kind of starting to get into the frag gum. I think that as a reviewer and as, you know, a fragrance enthusiast, even for myself, I forget what it was like being a new uh, a newcomer to the fragrance game. So, you know, you're seeing all these different videos and maybe you can sample these fragrances, maybe you can't. Maybe there's a Macy's, Dillard, Sears, whatever, right down the road from you, or maybe you can't. And you honestly, you just gotta go with the reviewer's word and try and buy something nice. So uh, this is probably not gonna be for everyone and that's okay. Uh, you know, this is gonna be for more of the newcomer to Fratcom. And uh, you know, this is gonna be fragrances that I think are easy to wear, versatile. Um, and you know, just overall fragrances that I don't think you have to give too much thought into. They're just really nice. and. I hope that you can trust my judgment on these and, you know, get something good. So these are going to be five fragrances that I think for a newcomer, for a newbie, or really for anybody, if you haven't had these, uh, you know, in your collection or have never smelled them, that are going to be easy enough to wear for a blind buy. So uh, coming in to the Fragcom, especially for a newbie, you're going to hear a lot about this fragrance right here. This is Creed's Aventus and one of my all-time favorite fragrances. I love this stuff. Um, but as a new newbie into the frag company, you might not want to spend, you know, three, four hundred dollars on a bottle. So I got something that I think is going to get you pretty darn close, not a hundred percent copy by any means, because then it'd be Creed Aventus, right? But this is going to be close to Creed Aventus for 20 to 25 dollars that I think is honestly a very nice pickup, guys. And this is Banana Republics, and this is Black Walnut Legend. Now, like I said, it's not going to be a 100% copy of Creed's Aventus, but for 20 to 25 bucks, uh, guys, this stuff is absolutely amazing. It's going to open up real bright, fresh citrus. It does kind of have this smoky, leathery undertone as it dries down to kind of give it this, you know, darker uh, feel to it, just like a Creed's Aventus. You got the fresh, juicy pineapple with the birch excuse me, and the black current to kind of give it that dark smoky feel. This does that same type of thing with that beautiful, bright, fresh citruses. And then as it dries down, it does kind of, uh, you know, get a little bit more darker. The leather kind of pops out and this stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Another good alternative is Mont Blanc's Explorer. I have that one, but I wanted to go something even cheaper. That's going to run, you know, 40, 50 bucks somewhere. This 20, 25 bucks, you really can't go wrong. So at the first spot, Banana Republic's Black Walnut Legend. All right, guys, so at the next spot, this is gonna be another great cheapie. We're talking, I think, 15 to 20 bucks, depending on what size of bottle you get. Like this stuff is just dirt cheap, and I love it. It's so amazing, great for the spring and summertime. This stuff is gonna be just an amazing, easy wear, dumb reach, don't gotta give a lot of thought to it. If you just wanna smell fresh and clean, guys, I gotta recommend Azaro's Chrome United. This stuff, man, this was honestly one of my favorite pickups of 2021. This stuff, it's light, crisp, fresh citrus. It does kind of have a blue style uh, fragrance to it, meaning there's almost like a shower gel type vibe to it. It's got a little bit of a spicy nuance into it at the, you know, kind of the base of it to kind of give it a little bit of strength. And honestly, this is crazy. So this is my second bottle of uh, this stuff. The first one I gave away to my boy uh, Austin. He liked it so much. I just went ahead and gave it to him, picked up another bottle and he 
wears this stuff all the time and it's crazy for it being such a cheap fragrance and for it being a more of a light crisp and fresh citrusy type of fragrance this stuff lasts a good long time we're talking six to seven hours at least that's what i smell because you know he's my best friend and we started a business i can smell this all throughout the work day whenever he wears this this stuff is absolute gold guys beautiful this spring and summer chrome united you guys gotta pick it up all right guys, so the next fragrance on the list is very synonymous with my channel. I've talked this fragrance stuff. This is my jam. I love this stuff. It's so easy to wear. Don't gotta give a lot of thought to it. Just spray it on and you're good to go. Great, great, easy blind buy fragrance. And this, this is Mont Blanc Starwalker. Now this is discontinued, but you can still get this readily available for 25, 30 bucks, uh, somewhere in there, depending on where you shop it at. And for those of you who don't know, fragranceX.com uh, and then FragranceNet are great great places to get fragrances for a much, much cheaper uh, price. All authentic. Um, it's the real deal. It's just they are on the gray market is what they call it. So uh, they are marked down quite a bit. But this one is super fresh, super light, crisp, easy to wear. Great, great, great fragrance for the high heat in the summertime. Super light and fresh. Going to keep, uh, keep you smelling fresh and clean all day long. The star of this is bamboo. So it is a little bit different, but it's not so different that it's going to be off-putting. I've gotten so many compliments whenever I wear this. It's, I mean, you can tell I've used almost this whole bottle. I've got four or five backup bottles because I love this stuff so much. Mont Blanc Starwalker definitely had to be on this list and I don't think you guys will regret getting this. So Mont Blanc Starwalker, you guys gotta try it. All right, guys, so next on the list, this is a fragrance that if you want to step your game up just a little bit, you know, kind of get out of that, you know, 25 to $30 range, step it up a little bit. And even on discounted sites, you can get it for, I don't know, around 60, 75 bucks, somewhere in there. But this is another great, fresh, kind of aquatic, woody, citrus fragrance. And this stuff is absolutely amazing. I don't know why I didn't pick this up. And honestly, I don't know why it's not talked about more in the fragrance comp, guys. This is Aquadigio, and this is absolute and I can't get this cap off, but uh, this stuff, man, this is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Like I said, bright, fresh citruses up at the top. There is some uh, woody notes at the base to kind of give it some legs and kind of give it this woody, I wouldn't really even want to say dark facet, but just a woody type of facet to it. So that citrus and wood combo is absolutely amazing. You're going to get you know anywhere from six to seven hours off of it, depending on skin type and how much you spray. It does push out and project good for the first hour to hour and a half, and then it does kind of sit closer into the skin. But with the woody notes in here it does last you know like i said six seven eight hours depending on your skin type i love this stuff my wife absolutely loves this stuff one of her favorites guys man if you're getting into the fragrance game and you're looking for a great, just easy, blind buy, dumb reach, uh, easy to wear type of fragrance. Uh, Giorgio Armani's Aqua Di Gio, absolute. Man, you really can't go wrong with this stuff, guys. You gotta pick it up. All right, guys, so we are down to the last fragrance. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this video is not gonna be for everybody. This is more for you know the newcomers into Fragcom or for those people who don't really have a lot of stores around them and they kind of just have to blind buy stuff. So hopefully you can trust my judgment and my taste and uh, I'll get you some good fragrances rolling in. But uh, this is from one of my favorite houses. I love this stuff. This is one of my wife's all time favorite fragrances. And this is from the house of Yves Saint Laurent. And this is Y, or you know for short YSL, um, but this is a EDT. And for an EDT, man, this stuff pushes out and it projects. And what I mean by EDT is the Eau de Toilette. So it's gonna have a little bit lower of the concentration of the perfume oils in there. Still gonna get you, you know, a full day's uh, wear out of this stuff because this is more of a citrusy, kind of spicy blue style of uh, fragrance. I wouldn't put it in the full category of a blue fragrance, um, but it does have some spicy woody nuances in there to, you know, make it last. And, you know, you're gonna get a full day's wear out of it. Like I said, this stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Great for the spring and summertime. Uh, you can wear it all year round, really. Any of these fragrances you can wear all year round, but they do kind of tend to be more citruses and just easy dumb reach fragrances. So they do, you know, kind of have their place more in the spring and summertime, but you can wear them all year round. I used to do that and I'm, I would still get compliments even in the winter wearing like, you know, YSL or Versace, something that's bright and fresh. Um, you know, never a good time to smell bright and uh, never a bad time, I should say. Never 
never a bad time to smell bright, citrusy, and fresh, am I right? So um, these fragrances, honestly, I think are easy, blind buy worthy fragrances that really have to give a lot of thought to it. And I don't really see anyone not liking these fragrances, especially, uh, I mean, coming from my wife's point of view, she's super picky about everything I wear. As you can sell, uh, tell, I do have a quite large collection over here and it goes all the way down to the floor and she maybe honestly truly likes 15 to 20 that she just absolutely really enjoys so she's very very picky and all of these she actually really does enjoy so all right guys that's gonna do it for this video thank you so much for watching i do appreciate that like i said earlier if you haven't subscribed to the channel no worries go ahead hit the red subscribe button give the video a thumbs up comment down below what you thought of the list i mean if you've been into the fragcom uh for a minute uh are these you know pretty safe in your opinion for blind by obviously i always recommend you know testing uh sampling before you can but if you absolutely can't i think that these would be five easy fragrances uh to wear uh, on a blind buy so uh, like i say comment down below tell me what you thought of the list i'll catch you there uh we'll talk back and forth and i'm gonna catch you guys next time and remember if you love it wear it